Who was the best player you ever saw? Oh, I, I'm a, I'm a Pele fan from way back as a kid. And it was this great debate about Pele and Maradona. Right, right, right. right. Well, I was brought up in the so Pele. Pele for you. Yeah, Pele for me. But the present day, you've got to look at Messi and Ronaldo. They yeah. are unbelievable. The best players. today. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. The best have what in common? Well, you know, I think they've the courage. You know, I, I say this for all the... Courage. The courage. The courage to take the ball all the time. The courage to make sure they're not going to be intimidated by their opponents. The courage to express themselves at all time. And I think the great players have got that. Yeah. Are they born with it? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah but imagine that. But you can acquire it. But you can develop through coaching. But I don't know if you can develop the courage. I think that's courage. definitely. You either have courage or not. Yeah, I think to be have. there. Yeah, I know? think so. I mean, it's like the best basketball players want the ball in the last 15 seconds. Yeah. When we assess teams, we always say right. Who's the player that wants the ball all the time? The opponents. Who's the one that wants to take the free kicks all the time? Who's the one that wants to dominate? And that's the one you concentrate on. That's the one you want. Yeah. yeah. My father, uh, he told me, my mother, my father, when I born, I born in a small town, you know, in the interland of Brazil, called Three Hearts. I born in three hearts. And then when I born, come the lights. Same, same uh, time come the lights. And then my, my father gave me Edson because of a Thomas Edson. Mm -hmm. I was very you know, proud to be the, the name of the engineer of the light. Mm. Then I used to tell to everybody, oh, my name is Edmund. When I started to play with the kids in in, in an, another city where my father w went to play, because my father was a soccer player too. Then, I don't know if I made some mistake, because in Portuguese, when you kick with the, with the foot, go pé. Maybe because I made some mistake, I didn't kick well, they said pele. <laughs> <laughs> I fight with everybody, no, my name is Edson. <laughs>
very few people in the world who would be recognized in any corner of the globe. With me today is one such person. He is the world's greatest soccer player that ever lived. His name is Pele, and we're delighted to, be on, uh, to have you on the show today. Thank you, Miguel. I think it's very important. You have friends all over the world. Wherever you go, when you participate in events like soccer, because soccer plays all over the world, then you met people, you know, new philosophy of life, and uh, this, I think, is very important. Well, you are the most photographed, <clears throat> the most interviewed, the most recognized person throughout the world. Do you get tired of that after a while? I mean, too many interviews, so many photographers shooting your pictures, so many people asking for autographs. After a while, does it wear you out? No, no, I feel, I feel comfortable in that. You know, of course, it's nice when you, you know the people recognize what you're doing. The people like you, it's very nice. But uh, it's a very big responsibility because uh, a lot of kids all over the world, they follow you, they, they want to, you need to be an example for them. And uh, then the life is that, you know, little... You have to maintain thing, a certain image. Because everybody can make a normal mistake, you know, because we are a normal person. But uh, when you are recognized like that, you cannot make some mistakes. <laughs> then it becomes difficult. Let me see if I can pronounce this right. Your name is Edson Arantes do Nascimento. Perfect. Your father was a soccer player, a professional yeah. soccer player. Did he push you? Did he train you? Uh, how influential was he in you becoming a soccer player? No, uh, in Brazil, you know, uh, outside from the United States, soccer is the main sport. Every kid wants to play soccer because we didn't have so uh, much, so many uh, mortality. Other sports. Uh, other sports like here, baseball, basketball, and American football. Then there, you must play soccer. It's a good, uh, good job, <laughs> you know. 